I feel like I'm back in time and I'm in 2010 and I'm starting a YouTube video where like the camera is up there and the person, the vlogger is literally staring at your soul like this. Hey guys, my name is Anna. I hope we're doing well. As you guys can see, I'm surrounded by this orange wood. And what can be better than orange wood? Nothing. I freaking hate orange wood. I am here because I'm doing a major clean out. I've noticed that I have too many clothes and like too many things that I don't wear anymore. But I am still attached to those things because like there's a story to every single piece and uh, yeah also don't judge my hairstyle because it's kind of you know I've tried a million times to fix it but it just doesn't work so yeah let's open this thing and I will where do I even start I feel like I, I, I should probably just show them one by one because here there are not too many pieces but then I'll decide if I should keep them or not these are obviously staying with me Iconic, beautiful. I love them so so much. Can't wait to wear them. <laughs> These are also staying. This one is the gorgeous coat that I bought a year ago. And then this one is this cool blazer. I try to come up with like rational and logical criteria when it comes to clothes and when it comes to getting rid of clothes because you know like does it fit me well? No, no, no. You know, a lot of you should ask yourself questions before getting rid of that thing. But I am too emotionally attached to some things and uh, you will see, you will see. I don't even know what to do with this piece because it's reversible. It's from Coach. I bought it in Long Island. Mm. But am I gonna be wearing it? It looks like I could be, my name is Chad and I'm from this like American high school movie and there should be like a C or something. I'm representing the school, the high school and I'm like, so this side is more of like floral and girly and uh, should I keep it? I think I'll probably keep it. I already know that I'm getting rid of this one because I bought it online and I expected it to be less orange. But as you guys can see, it's the same tone as these like orange wood things and I just can't do it. And also the length is not flattering. You guys know that I'm 5.3, so 160 in Europe. When I wear it, it looks like a dress and it makes me look even shorter, shorter. So I think I'm gonna sell this trench coat online and uh, if I want a trench coat, I will get uh, a less orange version. Do you have a table or something? Because I can't reach. Ooh, okay. I have two leather jackets. So the first one that I had is this one. It's from Zara, it's not real leather, but it, you know, it just looks so badass that I decided to get it and it's also like you know when there's like a cool feature on on like this piece like you can get this thing off and just wear you know get rid of this thing I don't even need to get rid of it but I still bought it because you know it's so cool like there's this cool feature about this thing later I wanted to get a, a, a leather vest and there were no leather vests on the market I thought that it would be a good idea to get a black leather jacket and then get it fixed fixed <laughs> but then it was too expensive so even if it's fake leather the lady told me that uh, she named a price and I thought whoa that's too expensive but I don't know which one I think this one looks more badass and this one because this one is a little bit should I get rid of both <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this one and I'm gonna get rid of this one I also want to do this Mmm. So good. You thought it was plastic? Haha. <laughs> Maybe it's plastic and I just enjoy eating plastic just like David Blaine enjoys eating glass. No way. I'm not getting rid of this dress. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it somewhere. This blazer's from the kids section. Even if I try to convince myself to wear it, it is too short on me. Like the sleeves, they just don't look as satisfying. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's too short. Especially the shoulders. Okay, no matter how sad it is, I'm gonna get rid of this baby. I bought it um, two years ago before I went to Paris because I wanted to wear a blazer in Paris and you know, the whole look, it looked amazing. But the sleeves are too long and you know, they were like this because I had to adjust them and you know you just walk around the city like adjusting your sleeves because they are too long. This is exactly the thing that I've mentioned before. I have 
so many things attached to this blazer. My birthday trip to Paris with my friend. I took so many pictures and, you know, it's like this melancholy. It's like this blazer is hugging me like, Anna, please, no. But I have to say, no. This one, this one is really sad. I bought it in France. I bought these two. I bought this one and I bought this other one. I bought them at vintage shops in Paris uh, when I was 15. It's so silky, it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love the style, even though, you know, as I already mentioned, I have two personalities. One of them is like this grungy badass, and then the other one is like, yeah, wear something flowery and like something cute. And it just looks so amazing. I love the puffed sleeves. I used to love them, and I thought they were really original. And um, yeah, it was a really long dress, but then I had it adjusted in here. So I've tried to style it with like different Converse shoes or something. And the worst thing is that I've spent so much energy trying to make it better and like you know, to crop it, if you haven't worn it for two years, you will probably never wear it again. And I know that that's the case, even though it's freaking gorgeous. It's like, um, maybe I should have like this last photo session in this dress and then... Actually, it looks pretty cool. This one is also from a vintage shop in France. I also got it cropped. I thought it would look good. Some boots and stuff, but... I haven't worn it. See, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's very like 1940s Second World War outfit. <laughs> Maybe like even Victorian-esque something. This piece is also vintage. A lot of these, as you guys can see, are vintage. Did I buy it here in France? I don't remember if I bought it here in France. Me, 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 me. God, I hate myself for saying these things because I, I sound like obnoxious because I hate when people do that like oh, I don't know where I bought it here or like in the Hamptons but I know that I'm one of those people and I'm like no stop just stop anyways I don't remember where I bought it but the thing that I loved about this dress the, it was the color and like the combination of this like yellow and then you know I wore it in 2015 and 16 um, and I used like this belt However, the fabric is very itchy. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too, even though... <laughs> when I wore it, I used to be called Azafata de Iberia, stewardess, Iberia stewardess. <laughs> this um, actually does look like a stewardess dress, but it's a stylish stewardess dress. Stewardess dress dress. Mm. Mm. I'm getting rid of this one too, because even though I've worn it, it just doesn't look flattering, especially on my chest booby area. I need a special bra to be able to wear it, so... Even though it's like floral and cute. Not getting rid of this one because it looks gorgeous. I wore it last year for my birthday. It looks freaking amazing. This dress, I'm not getting rid of it. It's too cute. I think I should keep it. Mm, oh god. This top, it's so cute and I wore it in 2016. I feel like, you know, there's still a 16, my 16 year old uh, personality in me and she's like, no, please don't throw it away. Uh, the best thing is that the fabric is really good quality. It's from Zara, but I haven't worn it and I will probably never wear it again. This is my graduation dress. I mean, there are two and if you wear either one of these, it's too explicit. So this one is basically this transparent dress in a very sexy lingerie dress. And then this one is this like also a lingerie dress. The color is amazing and first you wear this one then you wear the other one and it's like this 1920s Gatsby inspired dress and uh, yeah, I have so many memories attached to it. Again, it's like you are my grandchildren uh, and I'm telling you the story about this dress. Oh, this dress. I wore this dress when your grandfather proposed to me and then we got married. I think I'll keep this one. This one, I'm not getting rid of this one because I freaking love it. Burberry, vintage Burberry. Actually, right now I'm starting to notice that a lot of these pieces are vintage and I'm proud of myself. This one, I feel like I can still rock it even though I also need a special bra to wear with it. This one. This one is so gorgeous. I bought this one in Urban Outfitters when I was in New York last year. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's so 
freaking gorgeous. It's amazing. It has these like sleeves. I haven't worn it yet. I mean outside. I've tried to but it was too hot. I tried to wear it in August. Then I wanted to wear it during springtime, but I couldn't wear it because Corona time. I hope I can wear it again because it looks gorgeous and I still love it. Um, so yeah, that's it. I have nothing in here. And then I, I will also get rid of this thing too. It's not real fur, don't worry, it's from uh, Zara. I bought it when I was 15 because I wanted to be a bougie um, fur wearing person. Yeah, now I'm going to wear these things take some pictures and then uh, publish them. Publish? I mean post. Publish is like more serious. Post is like post. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna post these things uh, on this webpage and uh, I hope people buy my stuff because if not, <laughs> we'll have to keep it forever. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this video. Bye bye. Ha <laughs> ha